With people staying within their bubbles, more have taken to playing board games. Case in point, Infinite Consortium Gaming in Sharon, where business this year is up. New at 10, here's First News reporter Jason Surjack. The COVID-19 outbreak has changed the way we live, including what we do for fun. Many have turned to board games to help pass the time. More people are getting together in small groups uh, to play these things, you know, family. There's only so much TV you can watch. Despite being closed for a month and open only on a partial schedule, the yearly sales at Infinite Consortium Gaming in Sharon is ahead of projections. We're up by 5% from last year, um, and I think it's because people can't get out and do the things that they usually do. Jigsaw puzzles have been a big reason for the increase in sales. Mostly because it's something that you can come back to. Um, so, you know, maybe you're bored for an hour and you want to work on a, a large puzzle. Vaughn also says that our customers are playing board games with each other over the internet using virtual meetings. And they're playing escape room simulators, which bring that experience into the players' living rooms. A lot of people have been getting into those. Um, it's kind of nice because right now you can't go out with your friends and go do an escape room. Vaughn wants her customers to stay healthy and entertained through the rest of the outbreak. We love our customers down here and we want to keep our community going. So um, we just hope they can weather the storm. <laughs> In Sharon, Jason Surjack, WKBN 27 First News.